Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for organizing this event and inviting me to participate. I work for Santander Bank Poland and uh, I'm leading the business intelligence area where I am working, my team and I were working on uh, data driven solutions to improve financial services for our customers. And I would like to share with you two use cases the, which I hope will illustrate uh, the importance of the data, in, 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 especially in these days. One of the key roles that the banks are playing in the, um, the economy is to provide the financing for different investments via uh, loans granted to the different entities or individual customer. In order to grant a loan, we need to answer the question uh, if the customer is going to repay it. And in order to do that, we need to understand the um, way the customer behaves uh, in terms of the context of the loan. Uh, so let me uh, let me take the example of small medium enterprise uh, working in the uh, e-commerce business. Without understanding the behavior of this company, the position of this company in this e-commerce sector, we won't be able to grant a loan or to make a, a robust decision. Uh, I've seen many cases where the traditional approach, just looking at the financial statement or uh, or traditional uh, questions related to the running the company would lead to negative decision. And only thanks to in imposing under, of course, the customer uh, agreement, the data from the e-commerce sector about this company, the financing was, uh, posi was, uh, was possible. So taking into account that many of the traditional businesses and uh, go is going online, and there is a new types of businesses derived from the digital revolution, I think it's crucial to have an access in the context of uh, granting loans to, to customers, to have an access to the data which describe the sectors the companies or individuals op are operating on. The second example is related to the other role uh, of the banks uh, to make sure that the customer financial assets are safe. And let's take the very simple example of individual customer uh, logging into his current account via online service. We need to distinguish if it is the real customer or not the robot, and if it is the owner of the account to prevent from phishing. In order to do that, uh, it's, it's the best way to compare the regular behavior of our customer with unusual behavior or robot or hacker trying to steal the money. Taking into account that there is a growing, uh, growing number of phishing attacks, this is something which we need to develop more sophisticated way uh, in future to prevent our customers from being uh, vulnerable for the phishing activities. So in Santander Group, we have invested a lot of time, money and effort to increase our capabilities in data understanding, processing and embedding them in practical applications in our services. And we find it a crucial thing for the today's and future existing of the financial sector and to be honest, any other sector uh, operating in the digital world. In terms of uh, data strategy, I strongly support it and I think it's very good direction. And I would like to point out the two things. Uh, the first one uh, is the customer centricity. Uh, I believe that there is no big difference between the financial asset and the data. And like in the financial world, this is the customer who makes the final decision what to do with his financial assets. And I believe the same approach should be uh, applied to the data strategy that the customer should make the final decision and only one decision where he would like his data to be used and what to do with his data. That's, that's the one thing. And the second thing, the cross-sectoral approach. It's, I strongly support it as uh, we as a financial sector, we are financing customers from different sectors. These sectors are interacting each other. So in order to make it possible to understand the customer behavior, like in my example, uh, we need to have an access to this data, of course, under customer consent and approval and for the strict purpose of performing financial activities. Uh, I think it's the, the key thing to, to be possible to make a good decisions, not only credit decisions, but all the decisions related to the financial aspect and financial services. Thank you very much.